Welcome to Resident Evil, or my Sandy is your entertainment, and today we've got an audiobook for you all. Uh, sort of, type thing. So, it is called Cooking Companions, and it's supposed to be like a horror story type thing. It's a little different, uh, but um, you get to hear me do all sorts of weird voices. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> Connected something. Not good. Okay, okay, it's back. It's back. <laughs> what did it disconnect? Oh, here. Ah, oh, we're never again. Okay. I'm not gonna touch anything. I hope it can pick me up. Because if I, I try to move it again, we're gonna we may have issues. So. Slowly. Ah, no, we lost it again. Okay, there. Rose does tech! Badly. Okay. So. Alright. Alright, so each of these got a different name. Let's do this. Alright. Gregor. Alright, let's see what Gregor can sound like. That walk was brutal. But this cavalry is amazing. Full kitchen, running water. This really has everything. Please, I can read books! A good book in peace! I can't wait to... Ah! Ah I'm sorry everyone, it must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Mariah. Don't worry guys, I'm sure with a little elbow grease we can make this cabin SHINE! So you're volunteering to clean, Gregor? No. Not many supplies here. I guess we'll have to go out and get whatever we need. Okay, let's see. Okay. How, how do I make this not go so fast so I can read this? Alright. Okay. This person's name, I definitely cannot pronounce so we are gonna call him Anthony ah or we'll call him Anthony because it's the closest thing I can come up with there's a fireplace for making stew so let's gather up some firewood okay leave it to me little guy I'll tidy up around the cabin. If you need to save Mariah from dying due to these deaths, I need to save Mariah from dying due to the deaths. Hey! Allergies are nothing to joke about, Karen. She's not dead yet, Pipsqueak. Calm down. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> I think I'll go for it outside with over. 450 musts? Okay, it slams and molds and bounds of each treasure out there. Oh dear god, we have an archaeologist. <laughs> Roughing it, it's fun. Anthony knows so much about edible foods. We're in good hands. Sounds like my mother. <laughs> I think the slime and mold will be the most delicious. Most certainly not! 
what about the fungi? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anthony? Uh, um, I could figure it out. You can be the canary in the coal mines, Anthony. I'm not ending up a corpse here. Eek. Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. They won't be a problem. I read up to ten different techniques on how to incapacitate them. Oh, please. <laughs> I love the little squirrel creature on his shoulder. I, I do. I honestly do. <laughs> <laughs> Number one is Anthony. Oh yeah, sorry, Mariah. I can't carry away again. <sighs> I'll help Anthony look for food. It's definitely better at warding off wild animals. I'm definitely better at warding off wild animals. If we come up empty-handed, we can always eat some of the food we've brought. You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chum. Hey, Anthony and Mariah are getting food. Gregor can grab for a firewood. That makes you the designated chef. Oh wait, you're talking to me? Okay. I'll be the chef. Very excited to try your cooking. Alright everyone, let's get to work while there's still sunlight. Later. Mariah. Anthony. And Gregor. The three exit the cabin. Leaving you alone with Karen. I think Anthony put the supplies for in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. To save the glaze, take the light. Okay, so it's this one. This is save. Okay. Maybe we'll also just. Okay! This. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Be sure to save people. All right. Come on. Do you have any experience in making meals? An only child. <laughs> you have to cook to survive. Is that so? Hmm. Looking at you, I think you'd be good at serving food poisoning. Right. It looks like we will remember that. Anyways! I'm going to check on the living room. Let's talk later. Let's not. Let's not. Karen heads into the living room and starts dusting a bit. I chop! Sorry. You decide to look around the kitchen to find ingredients for the meal tonight. You never know what you find around the cabin. Clues, secrets may be revealed in certain areas more than once. I'm not a gummy. I'm sad. <laughs> Why not give it a try? What areas do you want to search first? Okay. The cupboards! First two cupboards are empty. And they must put the supplies elsewhere. Okay. I want to search the cupboards again! Check the cupboards again. Just some mouse turds. And cobwebs. Okay, 
Okay, let's try wood pile. There's nothing but cobwebs back here. Dang it. Where are all these spires? Thankfully, no spires. Oh! Well, that's, <laughs> that's my question. Where are all these spires? I don't see them. Wait, logs closer. Ah! Is this a pile of Norway spruce? Wow! Wow! <sighs> you check the drawer on the left. Mm. Some dirty knives? Look! Check the drawer above the mouse hole! About the mouse hole! Some kind of mold's growing in this one? Maybe, maybe we'll find it appetizing. <laughs> Gonna kill it with something. <laughs> Check the drawer above the wood pile. Um, something is making it difficult to open. Right, tug it harder. Pull with all your might. I don't. Well, uh oh, I took the drawer out. Oh dear. Ah! It's time? Chop it sound off? Yes. Never feel it ugly this here. Like my cousin Cornbread says, I rise to the occasion. Nothing. Always merry raspberry. Potato. Potato's not talking. Cabbage stuffed me in this drawer. Honestly, I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. Honestly, I, I don't understand how cabbage is so fresh. <laughs> we are the Chopettes. Why are I talk to those boring humans? Yes, All they have to give you is drama. Come chat with us instead. We'll show variable recipes you can cook. Hmm, maybe that's an idea. We'll share with you our secret chopette recipes. Collect them all, become a five star chef. Hmm. Cooking video again. But be sure to save the game. Okay. Save. Alright. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Roasted eggplant with sesame seed and pomegranate, meat free. You've unlocked your first recipe. Yay! Oh, yeah. If you ever want to talk, just come to the drawer. Okay. Jump it! <laughs> Let's move out. Basically, they're taking the drawer away from me. Uh, my apologies. Kevin really stressed the door. Hey, you wonder if what you just saw was real. What the heck was in those mushrooms? You're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. Uh, not eating any more of Anthony's mushrooms. But only slightly. Oh. Hey. Did you find the supplies? You shake your head. No, no, I did. Have any lie? He actually put them in the bedroom. Ah. Idiot. Here you go. I've got the emergency supplies. Yay! Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get working on cooking dinner. Tonight's entree vegetable stew. Oh, goody. We're vegans. <laughs> I watched the husband over me and we heat water with potatoes, carrots, and celery. Where did we get the carrots and the celery from? 15 minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. No, 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 no. Keep the broth. Placing the butter in the saucepan, you melt it over me and heat. 
prepare some chopped onions and cook them for about 10 minutes. Okay, okay, fine, but don't drain the broth. I want the broth. Cottonwoods are tender translucent. Perfect! Yes, you must always saute onions with butter and salt. Next, you mix some flour, salt, pepper, and heavy cream into a saucepan, adding vegetables into the mix. Wait. We're not vegan. Hours pass. Oh, look. Hey, look! We're back with more firewood than you'll ever need. We found some wild sorrel. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. What the heck is sorrel, Anthony? I don't know what sorrel is. It is sorrel. Where's my phone? What the heck is wild sorrel? We gotta look this up right now. Wild. Okay, this was the O Sorrel. Okay. The entire plant can be eaten when Sorrel has a tart, lemony taste, and added to salad paired with fish. The plant is steeped in hot water to make tea because ah, it's high in vitamin C. Okay, so it is edible. Apparently, that's what it looks like. Oh, wait. There, there, there. there you go. That's a bad picture. But, okay. We found some wild sorrel. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. Well, I'm just glad we can eat something. Anthony! Bearing the lead, we saw a red deer. Mariah spotted it. I thought... Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, I killed 17 spiders today while you were out looking at deer. <coughs> that comes as no surprise. There's over 160 species of fires here. Uh, 160? Don't worry, Mariah. I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something. Eh, no. Almost all of them were near the couch. I was going to sleep on a couch. Well, that's where 16 of them were. I'm not sleeping on a couch then. Huh. And there was only two beds in the bedroom. Don't sweat, Mariah. I can sleep anywhere. So I'll sleep in the rocking chair. I'll just sleep with one eye open, just in case any of them swarm the couch. Thanks, Rager. Karen, Anthony, you two take the bedroom. Thanks, big guy. Jokes on you, Gregor. I was always planning to take one of the beds. <laughs> hey, Anthony. I snore louder than a lumber yard. It. Sweet James, chum. You turn your back to your bubbling stew and try a bite. Okay, let's try this stew. It does not look bad, but why is our bowls all bent up? They look like ashtrays. They, they look like ashtrays. We have set the table. Everyone sit down. Let's go. We gotta eat dinner together as a family. I have no clue who you people are. Wow, this smells great. Smells delicious. Okay. Thank you. You must be a world... Class chef. Karen takes a bite. Aww. Is it food poisoning? It's bland as hell. Karen! Tastes like every other vegetable stew I've had, so generic. Could probably use some meat next time. Or you didn't give me any meat. 
breads. As for a side dish, we could bake some bread and you I see. Also there's the strawberries for drought. Okay. No one cares pipsqueak. Everyone laughs at Karen polite ribbing. That thing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. Okay, how long have we known these people? This could very well be the best day you've ever had. Oh, oh, oh. You go to bed and stuff. Hold on, hold on. How bad is our life that this is the best day we ever had? Oh, wow. Hey, you up? Unfortunately, how'd you sleep? I was so warm last night, I didn't even need a blanket. Wonderful. Because I don't even know where this stuff is. What time is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, the fun it talks. About an hour from dawn. Will you two pipe down? Try to sleep over here! Down, girl. <sighs> Gregor, the birds outside aren't making much noise yet. We didn't break baby supplies, remember? Better get a head start on gathering food! Um, honestly, can't you see the trees? I can, honestly, I can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor! Did you see any spiders last night? There was a small one in the bathroom. Ah! Actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. Briar turns a little pale. Corinne's messing with you, Mariah. Let's find more than Ryle Terrell today. If you're a lucky little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. Why are you winking? Why is everyone blushing? What's with you and meat, big man? And these herbology books. Oh, pull this here, pause. Ethnic herbology books state that there are many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's just. Let's leave the fish alone. You know, I'm not, uh, into meat. That's a shame. I wake up early to go fishing. Cheer up, Heron. We'll get to serve the trout at the very least. Maybe we'll see more red deer today. That sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. <sighs> Maybe we'll find some black thornberries. I love black thornberries. <sighs> <laughs> we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? Why are you? Why are we here? Who are you people? Why are you asking me to watch your stuff? If I was part of your group, wouldn't it be our stuff? I'm just saying. And then this one, which always got our boobs pressed up. I mean, seriously. Lady, we get it. You're a size D. Not intimidated. Thank you. Thanks! <sighs> don't steal anything, okay? You don't even trust me? Ugh. Why are you here? Why am I your chef? Alright, so they have left the cabin hopping down the steps. Bye! Go walk. I'm gonna go and talk to the Chopettes. Because they apparently are the only people that keep me sane. Am I sane? Okay. 
Okay, we're going to explore a different part of the thing. You only get one choice and they will end. Choose wisely. So. Okay. I want to... Actually, wait, so can I save right now? Yes, yes, I can save. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Let's do. Alright, so we've already talked to the chat bed, so I don't care about talking to them right now. Uh, they said something about. I want to go to this basement. Seems like the scariest one. Okay. Door goes into the basement. Okay. Hi, door. Can I have. Do I have the key? There's no reason to go in the basement right now. Okay. Wait for the others to return. Okay. Hug. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. So the basement's the go go. Let's. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the bedroom. That's interesting. It's pretty clean, except for the ink. Mouse hole. One of them made their beds. Okay, okay. Who still makes their bed? <laughs> you look under one of them. Hmm. Yes, found some. Extra emergency supplies. Ah! Ooh, we're my next meal. All right, but what's underneath that floorboard? I want to know what's underneath the floorboard. Hi, we're back. <laughs> Knock it off, Mariah. It's pretty rare to scare. To be scared of one. It's not. <laughs> what happened? Who knew the big guy would be so scared of? Sh Shut up! You don't understand. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It's just a mama. Gregor, not a monster. I. I. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't even gonna try to do that. Ah. Okay, okay. We get it. We get it. We get it. She's dying. <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay, I breathe. Breathe, breathe. You have to breathe. You, you can't. You can't. She's hyperventilating. Oh no! Stop hyperventilating. Uh. Um. Okay. We need to. We need to breathe. Calm. Calm down. Okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Absolutely not. One less mouth to feed. Right. Okay. Apparently, we cannot get her to stop hyperventilating. You don't get it. Well, help me get her to calm down. It's pretty personal. Then please explain, big guy. <laughs> uh, uh. He looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Leave him alone. This is from the one who almost died. We found some berries, raspberries, and elderberries near the cabin. Quite a selection of berries. We also found more wild sorrel. This is going to be enough for a good meal. Uh, uh, um, I don't know. I don't see a basket. I mean, you're telling me you have this stuff, but I don't see a basket. I don't know what you got. You're just telling me you have these things. So I could use them to make crap. Currently, the wild sorrel is supposed to taste lemony, so it can be used to make a jam. So, um... I don't know what you got. 
Okay, so we've inventory the ingredients. Okay, we're gonna make some cabbage rolls. Where are we getting the cabbage from? Okay. All right, we're gonna go for this. We're bringing a pot of water to a boil. We let the cabbage leaf boil for two minutes and drain the pot into the sink. I strongly recommend you doing that because it's gonna stink. All right. The medium bowl, you can find cooked rice, onion, egg, salt, pepper, along with tomato sauce. Why tomato sauce? I mean, use your hands to mix thoroughly and decide to wash your hands after it won't come off. Ooh, dear, what did happen? Dividing the rice mixture evenly between the cabbage rolls, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stay in one piece. Ooh, goody. Okay. You place the cabbage rolls in a lot of skillet over medium heat and pour the rest of the tomato mixture on top. Okay, okay, I can see where this is going. Covering it up, you bring it to a boil. Okay. Bubble, 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 bubble. You reduce the heat low and let the cabbage simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to baste it with the liquid. Oh, don't hunt trying cabbage rolls. Let's leave them slimy. <laughs> Ta da! That does look kind of cool. We cook crab rolls! Yay! Mariah looks optimistic. <laughs> Karen looks set poodle. Anthony looks curious. Because Gregor looks thrilled. Okay, first and foremost, nothing in this dish was brought from them. There's no raspberries, no elderberries, and no wild sorrel, okay? This is completely nothing of what they brought me, but we made this, okay. <laughs> you watch until these, everyone takes the first bite. Yay, everyone, eat up. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn good. Wow, I get you a whole batch myself. I think vegetables do taste better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really adds to it. Put some of the liquid on top, you'll thank me later. Incredible! It's definitely growing on me. Thanks again for cooking. It really was something special. Everyone leaves this behind for me to do. I cooked! You were supposed to do the dishes! Not fair. Not fair! Not happening. You settle in to go to bed. Ah, see, 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 I told you I'm not doing the dishes. Everyone goes to bed full. Okay, cool. Tomorrow will be another great day. Wouldn't this be like day two? Why is this? Okay, day two. Good morning, everyone! Oh, shut up. <laughs> Again, Gregor! Can't you let us sleep in? Not today! Why? Storm cows are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of our supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. I mean, you made a 
It's delicious, but I used a lot of what we had. Gregor is also correct. The predicament is the precipitation in me high risk of flood area. Okay. It'd be foolish not to go out and look for food today. You really think it will flood? Thankfully, the cabin's on high ground, but it doesn't mean we're safe from flood waters. It's always a possibility, so it can't hurt to be prepared. You're losing it, Cracker. Karen! There's nothing to worry about. Uh, I think Gregor's right about Karen. Huh? It won't have to be prepared for the worst. Hmm. I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Anthony, let's go out and prepare for the storm. Foraging should be a key priority today. Preable foods and better odds in trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes and I'll pull out our root on some paper. Let me help you, little guy. Okay, so the boys have gone to the bedroom to consult the map. Right, and Karen are still hanging about. They can't make everybody happy. You give it a choice to speak to Karen, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Okay, hold on. Save game. This one here. Okay, back to game. Try to max out your bottom of a certain character, you dialogue and scenarios. Ooh. Hmm. Ah! These two. Alright, uh. Hmm. Do we want to talk to the small one or to the large one? Let's talk to the annoying one. Okay, here she is. Hey! <laughs> this paper nail into the wall looks pretty ancient. What were the old days like? Extremely brutal. Oh, really? You'll have to share details with me later. Okay! Okay, I'm not be able to stomach your stories. What happened to me? You still agree to tell her details later? Sure, whatever. Guys, what the heck? You hear a shout from the other room. Oh boy, what was that? I'm sorry, Karen. Bye. Don't oh, the. the the boys are rushing out. Gregor is blushing slightly. Oh, 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 what were you two doing? Hey! Can you cook something while we're out? I don't know what you want me to cook. <laughs> sure, why not? Thank you! Alright, everyone, we have our route now. Let's beat those rain clouds. Okay, the group leaves determined as ever. Great! Peace and quiet. Alright, everything to myself. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it okay? Is it okay? Right. Back. What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Sounds like a radio. Huh? A radio? What's going on with the radio? Where, where is this radio? I do not see it. Didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. 
someone leave the radio here? It looks nearer than anything you've seen before. It seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. Anyhow, I got a strange radio. Better cook dinner. We just woke up! Okay. Uh, okay, this is where we want to save. Okay, save game, we're gonna, yes, okay, go back, All right, hmm, uh, kind of want to check out the bedroom again, but, uh, why are the dishes so bright? Okay, let's check the bathroom first. You remember the old tales about the child who said the serial killer's name in the mirror? Oh, hi! <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah, we're not doing that today. Um, I'm sorry, the ghost. By, by golly, please go away. I don't even know what to do with you. But you can't remember how it ended. That was a good point, I don't remember. What a lovely bathroom. Uh, I mean, just... Although, I'm not exactly sure what's up. If you're too afraid to even try it. I, I, Cause you leave the bathroom a little more scared than when you entered. Hold up, hold up, wait a second. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Let's try the bedroom. See anything else here? Poor Anthony. Grand snoring is so loud. She even wakes you up sometime. Where am I sleeping? Anthony must be running on fumes. Okay. Anything in here? Would he have the courage to wake her up though? Probably not. Anyway, around for the others to return. Okay. Alright, so, n none of these are useful. Okay. But none of these do me any good. Alright. Or I expect the kitchen. Nothing better to do, so let's talk to the choppets. Alright. Hi! Good to see you again! Onion. Thought you abandoned us. Why are you trying to fool them? Go ahead and make those meals you enjoy so much. Raspberry? No thanks! That vegetable stew? Grace. You already spunked up the cabbage last night. Spare us a repeat. Cabbage. Onion. It almost smells as bad as you guys. You stink. Almost. Aren't you going to give them the recipe, Onion? I guess. Ever notice those four humans don't give you any recipes? Those monsters! That's why you should spend more time with us! Right? Of course! A perfect recipe for you today! Oh, really? Let's see it. They think it could just smell nice afterwards. And it'll impress dinner guests. Brusk recipe. Don't burn the cat and make it, okay? Is this something I'm likely to do? Don't be a stranger! Tap it! Mosey out! 
You shut the door and wait for the others to return back. Mariah is back early today. Uh, hey. The others are still out looking for food outside. And we found some more berries. But nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others. But I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched the numbers and we don't have enough food, even with rations, to last a big storm if and we get stuck here. Why are you glaring at me? Mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? Okay. Thank you. You've done such a great job with the meal so far. Wow, you look evil. You're very sweet. Mariah is blushing a little. <laughs> Mariah will remember that. Okay. Maybe you can teach me how to cook sometimes. Okay, we completely changed the narrative. No, sure, why not? Looking forward to it. Hey, you can hold cooking classes here someday. I can. Uh, the moment is rudely interrupted as others burst into the cabin. Okay, hi. How y'all doing? Don't be so down there when we got tons of good berries. Jam is so bland without any sugar. The wild sorrel will help. Do you have any sugar? No, we have wild sorrel. Shake your head. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Rain. <laughs> I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Eek! You missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Tremendous. Hues of orange, red, and a little purple poked out. Red sky at night. Sailors delight. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. So we can expect the sailors to light tomorrow? That's awesome! You're such an optimist, big guy. We must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights. You could even see the snow on the tops of the mountains. That rumbling sounded like a dying calf. Is that my stomach? Look for person to person to try to determine who it was. Um. It was definitely Mariah. Mariah! I heard guess it's sound from anywhere. Uh, a guilty. Mariah looks embarrassed and the group laughs at her honestly. Hmm. <laughs> Except for you. I don't laugh. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. Right. <clears throat> Those who have it do not want it. Those who have at least succeed. Those who have it for too long perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. 
Where am I? Um, dust? Dry camping guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. My face lights up. I got it! Is, is it hunger? Correct! Very good, Mariah. Yeah, I was going to guess that. Uh, so, what's on the menu tonight, Chef? Bread and jam. I have crushed all the berries in a modern pedestal and spread on some crusty bread. Yay! This is dinner. Is he cooked? <laughs> The bread's a little tough. Let the jam soak in more. You'll be fine. Gregor, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But this is homemade jam is to die for. It's the wild Sorel. It's the wild Sorel. Sorry. No, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Mariah! <laughs> what is wrong with my bread? Yeah, are you sure it's gonna be called a meal? Okay, well, if it works, it works. But I got the job done. Everyone's laughing and happy and loveliness, okay? Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. I should have just had the berries to begin with. You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. And it's becoming a nuisance. You try to see it in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything. But it won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cavern, stumble by a river, and soak your pain in the cold water. You didn't want things to come to this, but you're exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall to your knees. You lean back and try to submerge the thing under the waters. But it won't drown. It won't drown. It won't drown. You splash frantically. Plugging Plumbing your head beneath the water, the current takes you downstream. You try to swim back to shore, but it's no use. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back and drifting into the sky as you sink to the bottom. As you take your last gasps, you see what was on your back staring into your eyes, but you don't even have air in your lungs to scream. You wake up in a cold sweat. Alright, so we're going to stop it here, and we'll pick it up on another video, um, technically every other time, because I gotta go to work tomorrow, so, everyone, 
Have a wonderful evening. Like, share, and subscribe. And I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Bye, guys.